Hi, this is Martin for Revelation Software, and I've got a nice, quick, getting started with Open Insight video for you today. Now, um, I've opened up the patient entry form within our clinic application, and I don't know about you, but when I'm test running this, I'm finding the cursors jumping around all over the place. Now, mine might not be jumping around exactly the same as yours. It depends how the controls were put onto the form. Um, but you can see here that I'm on the hospital number, which is quite nice, and when I tab, I'll be expecting it to go down to title, but it jumps across to surname, then it jumps to four names, and then Mr, and then we're jumping down to the gender, and then up to date of birth, and then address. You know, we're jumping around all over the place here, which is not quite, you know, not very nice. We'd, we'd like to, to run through these properly. So let's go away and have a look and see how we can address this issue. Now we do that by going into the Tools menu and Order Tabs. And that changes the representation of our form so that we don't actually see the controls. We can see the, these numbers of where the controls are. And this is our tab order. So we're actually going here first, then there, then there, then there, then there. And we're jumping around. And to set the tab order, all you need to do is to click on the first um, control that you want to have uh, focus and then the second one. Now you don't have to click on the labels. I tend to keep um, the tab order going through the labels just so it keeps things clean and tidy. So we'll go there first, there second, then we go on to the title and then we'll go through the names and then we'll just come down through here and we'll just run through these controls one at a time just clicking and you can see as I'm clicking them the numbers are changing and they're also going more of a grey colour um, so you can see where you've been and I'll just continue to just run through these for the moment. We'll go over here, pick up the button, pick up that edit line, and then we'll just scroll down to go to page two, and we'll grab that one and that one, and we'll come down to page three, finally 427. And then when we're done, we can go back to tools, turn off all order tabs, and then we go back to our form, and then we can test run the form. Save our changes. And now when we tab through the form, we go from hospital number 17 to Mr, to four names, to surname. We come down to the date of birth. So put over my date of birth in there. We can just go through, so that, that's fine. Um, we've got a small issue there in the fact that the tab order went from the date of birth here straight down its skipped age. Um, now I'll be expecting it to go there because that's a white box. So we'll clear that up in a moment tab through to the address to the town postcode signature on file yep this is all good I've actually tabbed down here and I don't want to update this so that's another area we need to look at so tab across comments is fine we've got an issue there that we haven't gone to the comments tab so we'll have to clean that up as well and then we've gone to the consultations um, and again we need to change to the correct tab so we've got a problem there also so it's a few things to think about but you know we're moving around in, in a much better order now so let's come out of here no we don't want to save our changes now the first thing we want to do is age if we um, just double click on there and change this to disabled hard because we don't want to uh, have the cursor going in there and the same down here and then if we just quickly test run that again just to see what effect that has had so we tab through and that's fine now we tab down signature on file come across to the button and then we miss that one so that's fine but we've got a problem with our tab order here now I don't know if I'm going to go about this in the right way but I'm going to make the decision that I want to show this tab when I've got focus on the hospital number and also when I come down to the comments I want uh, when I get focus on this control I want to be on that particular tab so what we'll do is we'll come out of here uh, no I don't want to say changes and just to be sure I'm going to shift and double click on hospital number and then we're going to locate the got focus event right, so we'll just put a little note in here on what we're going to do so we're going to reset the tab control uh, control back to uh, tab one just so that we know what we're doing 
and then we're going to call set property um, at the window and the concatenate the control the control we want is the tab control underscore one which is the name of the tab control that we're working with and we want to set the in value property to be one and we need to define the page so this is the page that we want to be on let's just correct the spelling mistake there and then we also want to call set property again at the window and we want to set the vertical position so V position and we want to set that to the page so this is going to be set to page 1 on the got focus now I'm just going to um, copy that because we're going to use this code again in a moment we'll compile it, the syntax is correct so we can come out of the event handler saving so that will take us to the first page and, and set the, the control and if we just come down to the second page, so the comments so we'll just uh, shift and double click to open that control up and we'll locate the got focus control V to paste that code in and we want to set the value to 2 and we want to set that to page 2 so we'll just compile and close that update yes and we'll come down and again for the edit table we'll just shift and double click to go into the events got focus and this needs to be three and we want to go to page three on the got focus so let's just come out of there and see what that has done to our form so we'll test run that